Hello tech enthusiasts and welcome back to our channel. It's your host Rahim and today we're diving into a product that's crucial for any student using an iPad, the new 2024 Apple Magic Keyboard. How does it stack up against the old version? Let's find out. And remember, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button to join our community as we explore the latest and greatest in technology. The Magic Keyboard has always been a game changer for iPad users, turning a versatile tablet into a potential laptop replacement. But what's new in the 2024 model and is it worth upgrading keep watching as we break it down for you don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth reviews like this one let's start with the first impressions here's how the new 2024 magic keyboard looks right out of the box first impressions it's sleek it's stylish and it feels sturdy typical of apple product but there's more than what meets the eye hit that subscribe button as we peel back the layers of this innovative design right off the bat the build quality has improved the new hinge design feels more robust Bust, and it allows for smoother adjustments. Plus, Apple has introduced a new color palette to match the latest iPad finishes, which is a nice touch for the style-conscious student. Now, let's talk enhancements. The 2024 model features a redesigned key mechanism that promises quieter typing and faster response. This is crucial when you're in a quiet lecture hall or library, or in general, when you are typing alone in a quiet environment, the keyboard click could be extremely annoying for some. Another major upgrade is the integration of a function row buttons. Yes, you heard that right. We finally have dedicated keys for brightness, volume, and more, something that was sorely missing in previous model of Magic Keyboard. This addition is a big win for productivity and getting the work done more effectively and efficiently, comparing it to the old model the differences become even more apparent. The older Magic Keyboard feels a bit clunkier now, especially when it comes to the hinge mechanism and key travel. If you've used the old version, you'll notice the improvement immediately and will appreciate the new model and the latest tweaks in it even more. On the other hand, the trackpad is significantly enhanced, now making it a smaller version of the trackpads we find on the MacBooks. The older button click is gone, and now you get the haptic feedback when force is applied on the trackpad. It might not be a game changer, but is a significantly superior update we have been wanting from years at this point. From a student's perspective, usability is key. Although I haven't bought one for myself, but borrowed and used this keyboard for the past week with my friend's iPad Pro M4 during lectures and study sessions, and the experience has been transformative. The added portability and improved ergonomic design mean I can work comfortably for longer periods. The new trackpad with gesture control further enhances navigation, making it easier to switch between apps and manage tasks efficiently. It's these thoughtful touches that show Apple really listens to its users. So is the 2024 Magic Keyboard worth the upgrade to M4 iPad Pro? For most students, the answer is a not really. With significant improvements in design, functionality and user experience, it bridges the gap between tablet and laptop more seamlessly than ever. But the price you have to pay for that is also a lot for students. And trust me, you will not lose a lot while using your existing iPad and Magic Keyboard one inch. On the other hand, if you're considering buying the iPad for the first time and the M4 is on your list, the new Magic Keyboard for your academic needs or just for a more flexible computing setup is a worthy investment for sure. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this review, please like subscribe and hit that notification bell to catch all our future tech reviews and guides. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.